Hello everybody from uh, the lower part of Manhattan in New York, uh, in the US. Uh, it's the day after the presidential elections and we now know that Donald Trump has very decisively won the election. Both the Electoral College and the popular vote, uh, most of the key swing states uh, and others. He's won in a way that he hadn't in the past, uh, not even the last time he was elected president. So this is a much more definitive and clear victory. And this sets the stage for a very different type of America, not just in its domestic politics, but also its foreign policy agenda. I, I would argue that there are at least uh, four key areas of, of fundamental change in that agenda. One is in security. I think we're going to see changes to the way America addresses issues of alliances and others. And above all, the Ukraine conflict, I think we'll see big changes. In fact, one could argue the Ukrainians, to a large extent, lost the war yesterday. Uh, because without U.S. support, it's going to be impossible for them to sustain their effort. Most likely, there will be a peace agreement arrived at, most likely above the head of the Ukrainians, and it will entail important concessions of land and others uh, in favor of Russia to arrive at a peace arrangement. Uh, we're going to see this, I think, in the coming uh, months. The second area of change will be in trade and economic, international economic policy. Trump has floated the idea in his campaign of a flat tariff on all imports in the United States and a 60% tariff on Chinese imports. I mean, this basically does away with the world trading regime uh, and with the idea that this is a rules-based regime of fundamentally free trading uh, nations. And it further hurts the WTO in its function as the arbiter of international trade. Uh, the third dimension of uh, change uh, will most likely be the climate dossier and with the U.S. leaving its climate commitments and many others. And then the fourth and very importantly would be U.S. commitment to multilateral institutions, to the U.N., Bretton Woods institutions and many others. I think it's uh, conceivable that the U.S. will leave many of these institutions, defund them, so it's not a great time for the multilateral agenda when you have one of its major uh, backers and in fact one of its major architects uh, pulling away uh, from his multilateral commitments. Somebody mentioned to me a few weeks ago that this election was a 1948 moment for the U.S., that it would either recommit to in its international engagement and its underpinning of alliances on the multilateral system, or it will move uh, much more inward um, and it will choose a much more unilateralist path. And I think that that is uh, what uh, has been voted yesterday, maybe not explicitly by all voters, but this is, I think, the agenda that the administration will begin to implement uh, as of January and moving forward. So a very consequential election here in the U.S. Uh, with broad impact in Europe, in Asia, in global markets, and in many others. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.